So we live where a lot of people vacation. So we figure we show you guys the ins and outs of Destin and around Destin. Which I did. So we're gonna look at some of the water parks that are in Destin and close to Destin. We'll look at some rainy day stuff like Emerald Coast Science Center or Urban Air, places like that. Um, of course, we're gonna look at the beach and Crab Island and all those other places, the Destin Commons. Just try to give you guys a total rundown of what's actually going on in Destin. And this is definitely gonna take two years to record. No. <laughs> well, Technically, I kind of compiled. I've kind of compiled videos from the last several um, years. One thing about Florida, we have beautiful sunsets. So actually, in Destin, the sun only sets over the water. In the summertime, it sets over the bay. Okay, so it only sets over the Gulf in the fall, and in the summer. It sets And please clean up after yourself. If you're not staying at a beachfront place, there is a ton of public beach accesses, like this one, the half bathroom, showers. So we're in the Silver Shells area near Henderson Beach. And there's a trail walk. If I was going to visit Destin and stay there, I would stay off of Gulf Shore Drive. That's my favorite area. Or I would stay, if I didn't want to <laughs> drive anywhere, if I wanted to walk everywhere I wanted to go, I would stay off of Scenic 98. You can walk to some restaurants. There is um, Pompano Joe's, Crab Trap, um, some smaller restaurants, Dave's, some about Dave's. Uh, Red Lobster? <laughs> no, Red Lobster is a normal lobster. Oh. The Scenic 98 area is very walkable. I have a lot of walking right alongside the beach and then also across the street they have a really wide path where you can bike and walk dogs and things like that. The South Walton beaches are, you're able to bring your dogs, you're supposed to have a permit but they're less likely to ask you, like in Destin, um, where you're not allowed to. Right now it's October and you can see it's 85 degrees. The beaches are busy but not crowded. In the summertime this area gets incredibly busy. Destin regularly on vacation or if you've just been once comment and let us know where you stayed and if you liked it. If you come to Destin on a Saturday between Memorial Day and Labor Day, um, I wouldn't, <laughs> number one. And if you come down 293, which is the tollway, which will take you across the big Mid Bay Bridge, it's about four miles across the Chattahatchee Bay. Um, if you come on a Saturday afternoon, expect to sit for an hour on the tollway to get across. I would aim for Sunday or Friday evening, anytime but Saturday. The first water park on our list is in Navarre, which is about 
30 minutes to the west of Destin, straight down Highway 98. It's an inflatable water park and it's operated by Navarre Family Water Sports. It is so much fun for both kids and adults. You can do an hour for $20, two hours for 30, and I believe it's 35 for the whole day. We typically do two hours and the kids are worn out and have a blast. The water around it is really shallow not so shallow that if you fall off you would get hurt but shallow enough that you feel fairly safe with them being out there on it or adults i mean it's really it's fun for adults too Our second water park is Big Kahunas, which is right in the heart of Destin. We have a whole video on Big Kahunas that we will link if you want to check that out. They've been under new management for the past couple years, and most of us locals aren't fans since they took away our local passes. Still a very fun place to go. They have some great thrill slides as well as several areas for little kids. On the negative side, I'll say that there has not been a time in the last several years where something was not closed when we were there. The bathrooms by the lockers are always disgusting. Um, the lockers run about $20. The Lazy River desperately needs to be repainted. They're usually only running one of the two food areas and the lines are always really long. I can't remember exactly how much tickets are because it's not on their website right now because it's the off season, but I believe they're $60 each. Our third and favorite water park is Shipwreck Island. It is about an hour down the road to the east in Panama City Beach. We do also have a separate video all about Shipwreck to check out as well that I will link. We consistently make this drive because me and most other locals believe this is the best water park in the area. It's family owned and operated since the 70s. It's very clean, it's spread out so it doesn't feel crowded. There's several good food options, multiple clean bathrooms. The only thing I would note is that lockers are cash only and you do have to carry a key on your wrist, but they're only about $10, I believe. Um, admission, I think it's 50 a person. If you're below 50 inches, I think it's 40. Um, children below 35, I believe, are free. And seniors are $35, I believe. Um, shipwreck is a lot of fun and totally worth the drive from Destin. Vortex Springs is about an hour northeast of Destin in Ponce de Leon. It's one of the many natural springs throughout Florida. Um, we like to call it the Redneck Water Park. It's um, privately owned, but it supplies the Florida Aquifer with like 28 million gallons of water a day. Um, you can get scuba certified there. There's a whole cave system underneath. There's a lot of stories that go with that. They've had like several deaths like 15 in the cave systems um the park itself it's a lot of fun it's just not supervised so you need to be careful and um, we never go on a weekend we only go on weekdays to enjoy it it's like 15 dollars to get in and 10 for under 12 um i would just say don't drink too much and watch what you're doing while you're there Also, the spring water is 68 degrees year round. So that's could be very refreshing or very cold, depending on who you're asking. The Emerald Coast Science Center is located in Fort Walton Beach. It's a great rainy day activity. Um, very inexpensive, lots of hands-on educational things for kids. It's indoor and outdoor. Um, but if it's raining and you could get away with the indoor, they have animals and little animal shows. It's a lot of fun, but it's only about a three hour max, maybe four, just depending on how hard your child wants to play in there. But it, it really is a great time.
We have about three zoos in the proximity of Destin. The first one is the Gulf Breeze Zoo. That's about 40 minutes down to the west from Destin. It's probably gonna be the biggest and probably the nicest in my opinion. Um, it's not terribly expensive, but of course they're gonna charge you for lettuce to feed the giraffes and um, feed for the the you know goats and stuff and then they always have the bungee sticks to feed to the little bungee birds and it's very hands-on of course with any small zoo you also get the feeling that maybe that those animals should not be in this small enclosures but it they do all look very t well taken care of um but this is probably going to be our first choice of zoos to go to Zoo World is in Panama City Beach, which is about an hour to the east of Destin. Um, this one's probably the more expensive zoo. When we've only been to the zoo once, they do have a lot of um, add-ons, like we did the lemurs, where you could go into the lemur cage, which is really cool, but oh my gosh, those guys smell. Um, my daughters, two of them, did the sloth, which <laughs> wasn't that exciting because sloths are kind of anticlimactic. Our third zoo is going to be the Emerald Coast Zoo. That is in Crestview, um, which is about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes north of Destin. This zoo is family owned. Um, it's very well taken care of. It's just a little bit dustier. You're probably going to be dirty when you leave there. You know, they don't have a paved drive and things like that. But they do have a lot of unique animals and everybody's really well taken care of and they you know you could pretty much ask them anything i do this is the zoo that our all our kids go to field trips on so we've been there several times and we really grew to love um their lion and uh you'll see some of him turning now <laughs> that scared me <laughs> He would do that again. Maybe. I don't think so. He's kind of like a bear. Hey, he's kind of like a bear. He is a bear. He's a bear. He's a black bear. He's kind of like a dog. See? He's, got, he's happy. He's happy. Yeah. He's... A donkey's not happy. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, it's okay. We're okay. We just came to visit you. Yes. Get the rest of your food. Watch it. What are you doing, buddy? We're not gonna get your food. Always gonna pee on. Don't get too close. I feel like he can you project. Have no idea how far he, can project he just. Out He's so animated. Oh yeah, he's fixing it. Oh god! No, he did. Did he get you? I think he did. No, he did. And I know better because I've do he's done that to us before. No, he hasn't. I, I think he got my shoe. Look at your hair. Oh, you got Urban Air is actually right in the heart of Destin. It is 
also a great rainy day activity. I've been in college the last couple of years and I can't tell you how many times I sat in there with AirPods in and did homework while my kids played and played and played and were totally entertained and worn out afterwards. The track is right in the middle of Destin and is always open, pretty much. Um, it has a big arcade next door to it, and it has go-karts, some thrill rides, some little kitty rides. It can be really crowded, or there can be nobody there. They have mini golf. Um, it will add up really quick how much money you're going to spend there, but it's no different than any other you know, go-kart type place that you see in any other tourist town. Um, I say that, I mean, it is well taken care of and everything, but it is a favorite of my kids. So that's always something you can run to. I wouldn't do it in the middle of the day. It would be a little too hot, but maybe at night. Everybody always wants to go to Fud Puckers. Their shirts are world famous. I am not a fan. I don't think their food's that good. The last time we went, Monica wanted to go there for her birthday because she loves reptiles and they have the gators. Those alligators smelled so bad that there is no way I wanted to eat afterwards. Plus, we had an hour and a half wait for dinner. It's just kind of a tourist trap in my opinion and I would avoid it. Parasailing is a really cool activity um, that I would choose to do for something you need to do when you're in town. We've done it with Pelican Adventures and they were super professional, super safe, funny. Had, we had a great time doing it. There's several different places that do parasailing and I've never heard of a parasailing incident around here. So I feel like you'd be safe to go with whoever. And if you're not scared of heights, which I am very, very scared of heights and I did it. Um, but I would highly recommend parasailing anybody on the harbor. I highly recommend Smile and Wave Sailing Adventures. We do personally know the captain, her name is Pam, and our boys went to school together, but you're not gonna find very many sailing charters and this is a small private activity, so it would just be your group out there and she will pretty much do whatever you want to do. She's extremely trained, professional, fun. Um, she'll take you to, she knows where every, the dolphins like know her, they like speak the same language. Um, this activity is on par with something you would do in the Caribbean at an all-inclusive when you book your excursions. So I would very highly recommend her. The Goltherium is a neat place to go. It is on Okaloosa Island, right next to the Okaloosa Island Pier. Um, they have dolphin shows, sea sh seal shows, um, there's some hands-on experiences. Um, the dolphin shows are really fun. They are building a very large new dolphin arena. If you struggle like me with the dolphins in captivity, it. I would not. If you're going during school, I would. If you're in Destin during school times when school is in session, I would not go early because that's when the field trips are going to be there. Other than that, I would go early because most people who beach don't get up super early. The Destin Commons is of course a very large outdoor shopping mall. Um, for my family, we tend to go to the Destin Commons at Christmas time because that's where Santa Claus is at 
Bass Pro Shops. And it's also decorated very festively and we're usually shopping. Um, Books A Million is like my go-to for Christmas shopping. Um, we also, that's where we go to see movies. <laughs> so those are our two things. Um, we also like to hit up Build-A-Bear and uh, they always want to go to Bass Pro Shops and see the fish. Of course, they have all your standards, your Victoria's Secrets and places like that. Um, they have tons of places to eat and it's a, I mean, it's a good, they have a lot of, um, they have some touristy stuff and some authentically Dustin things you can buy there also. And of course they have this big climbing apparatus for kids to play on. They have a toddler play area. They have a, a splash area, which is kind of weird being in the middle of a mall, but people come there and play, so they like it. Yes, we do do gymnastics. We are from. Okay, where are you from originally, Montana? We are from Is it Mo Montana? I am from originally. I am not from Montana, but I did get my name from the state. I am from Mississippi. Where am I from? Harbor Walk Village to me is the must-do nighttime thing if you are in Dustin. And that very large building is the Emerald Grand, um, it's like hotel rooms and condos. And then you've got tons of shops and restaurants. You've also got going all the way down is the docks because you're on the harbor and so that's where people come in to go fishing um, when they come fishing to do, do competitions and stuff. They have this big zip line that goes across it that scares the crap out of me, but the kids all love it. They also have a place, you'll see in a second, where you can, um, I guess I call it base jumping, that my daughter did. Um, they have like a 3D moving theater in there. There's always a, events. They have a full-blown Mardi Gras in February. They have fireworks every Thursday night or for any other imaginable occasion. There's fireworks. There's like fire spinning shows. There's these activities where you know the, your kids can get into a hamster wheel or they can hook themselves up to that trampoline thing where you jump up and down. Um, there's, you know, Jimmy Buffett's is here, um, AJ's, Tail Fins, all kind of places like that. Um, it's just, there's tons of little shops. There's lots of little um, gift shop type shops as well. So, uh, it's great for if you just want to stroll around. Here she comes. See her? Yeah. I know, so her brains don't come out when she falls. Early December, they have this gorgeous lighted boat parade as well. It's really cool to um, get a seat for dinner and watch the parade go by or just come up there. And of course, there's fireworks out afterwards because we do fireworks for everything. Um, also on Thursday nights, they do a big flyover um, before dark where it's the old style planes and that's really cool. This is our local, as local favorite thing to do in all of Destin is to come out here to Noriega Point on Thursday nights. See, a lot of people don't know how to get here. There's Demon Grand. 
you're gonna watch these fireworks on Mom, you need Santa. Santa. Can we enjoy them in the after game right now? Mm -hmm. You watch all the birds come in. Watch all the birds. Please stop. And we saw this. We saw the sunset. It's gone. Best thing to do in Destin is to come out to Noriega Point at night, have a little night swim, chill out, and at nine o'clock they're gonna shoot fireworks from so right here. Somewhere I can't see it anymore. There's a barge over there. Anybody see a barge? I can see it perfect there it is. Okay. I was like I can see it perfectly clearly but I can't see it through this phone. Anyway, that's where they shoot the fireworks up from. And then all these boats are gonna come out here. Earlier the sunset was like a big ball of fire. It's very gorgeous. The sunset was a ball of fire. Crab Island, of course, most everybody knows Crab Island. It's like the thing to do. The first thing that you're gonna notice about these videos and photos is the drastic difference in the watercolor. So, and people will get upset. They'll come to Crab Island on a day where the water is kind of dark green, dingy looking, and they're like, all these pictures were Photoshopped. But that's not true. If you have to have high tide to have that color and sun. Um, if it's cloudy and it's low tide, it's gonna look murky. So if you are going out and you really care about what the water's gonna look like when you get to Crab Island, check the tide tables before you go. Also, Crab Island is at the only entrance that that huge bay has to get into the Gulf. So there is an extremely strong current there. So you want to be very careful because if you get swept where you can't stand, most people drown, so please don't drown when you come out here.
What is your favorite thing about Dustin? What's your favorite thing about Dustin? My favorite thing about Dustin is the beach and the sunset and that we live here. And living in Florida is like a tropical one, kind of. What if you thought up thing? Don't, don't. Do not. Ask her about it. Do not. If there's anything that you want to see more of or that we didn't cover at all, just leave us a comment and we'll be more than happy to make you a video on it.